Hello there, I'm Stacey from Ultramax Coatings. We're specialists in total paint shop support and provide you with everything you need to run a world-class paint shop. Today I'm going to talk to you about when your paint finish has a loss of gloss and how to solve it. A loss of gloss can occur for a number of reasons. One common cause is that the top coat was applied too heavily along with an inadequate flash time between the coats. The top coat then reacts with the undercoat and causes the paint to dry matte. Another potential cause could be that there was an insufficient film thickness of the top coat. This will mean the matte undercoat is showing through and that there is not enough top coat paint on the surface to give a nice glossy finish. The preparation of the substrate, or lack of it, can also cause the paint to lose its gloss. When the substrate has not been cleaned properly and there are still contaminants on the surface, it will cause a lot of problems including a lack of gloss in the paint. The substrate needs to be primed and sealed properly to ensure the gloss level stays consistent. To repair the dulling in paint, you will need to allow the finish to cure thoroughly and then either apply another top coat or use a compound and polish to restore the gloss. In extreme cases, you will need to sand down and then refinish. Because it is best to prevent rework in a paint shop, here are a few points to consider ensuring that this defect does not happen again. Always apply the top coat according to the product directions using the correct gun and air pressure setup. Apply a sufficient number of coats to ensure the recommended film thickness is achieved. You should use a wet film thickness gauge if possible and always allow undercoats to dry thoroughly before top coating and always clean the substrate thoroughly before and after sanding. A two pack paint will also keep its gloss a lot longer than a single pack coating. So if you are experiencing a lot of trouble, moving to a two pack paint system is definitely worth considering. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any new videos. You can also click here to watch the previous video that will explain all about fish eyes in your paint.